Almost a decade after the US-based NASA retired its first ever fleet of space shuttles, India is building its own, a reusable two-stage orbital launch vehicle, which will be boosted into space like a rocket and cruise back to Earth like an airplane gliding down the runway. Hello, I'm Srishti Chaudhary, science journalist with CNN News 18. And in this section of ScienceWise, we'll provide all the details about India's planned efforts to build a reusable two-stage orbital launch vehicle. RLV is like a specialized aircraft that combines the capability of a space rocket as well as an airplane. Now, if you recall, ISRO had shared the first glimpse of the prototype of this reusable launch vehicle in May 2016 when it conducted the first test. At that time, the objective was not to achieve a precise landing, but to evaluate its hypersonic flight, navigation, as well as its successful re-entry while entering into Earth from space. The launch vehicle had reached an altitude of about 65 kilometers into the atmosphere and then fell back to Earth, splashing down in the Bay of Bengal. On April 2nd, ISRO returned to the aeronautical test range in Karnataka to perform the second major experiment for this reusable launch vehicle. The objective was to achieve a precise autonomous landing on the runway. So the latest experiment was uh, an airdrop test where, the RLV, where a scaled-down version of the RLV was taken 4.5 kilometers into the Earth's atmosphere as an underslug to a Chinook helicopter of the Indian Air Force. It was then released mid-air, falling back to Earth at a hypersonic speed of about 350 km per hour. The landing was carried out uh, in, in the exact same way as an unmanned spacecraft would re-enter the Earth's atmosphere. ISRO had performed a successful demonstration and the airplane glided on the runway before coming to a halt within 30 minutes of its ascent into the atmosphere. But why do we need a reusable spacecraft uh, in a space agency like NASA has already retired its own fleet? Now, if you remember, ISRO's next big mission is to launch a human space flight program, become only the fourth country in the world to do so. So the Gaganyaan mission is slated for launch somewhere in the late 2025. Now, uh, experts say that ISRO may be laying the groundwork for subsequent missions where uh, reusable spacecraft could come handy and open up various new opportunities for the space sector. ISRO has also been launching a number of satellites all through the year and using a uh, reusable spacecraft could bring down the cost per flight. Now, to give you the historical background, the first uh, space shuttle was flown into space by uh, NASA in the year 1981. Only three space planes have flown successfully since 1981. NASA's space shuttles until they retired in 2011 after carrying out 135 missions, Boeing's ex-fleet of spaceships and the Soviet Buran, all of which were boosted into space using a rocket. Now, there are reports that the European Space Agency is also, also building its space rider. China too has conducted a test flight of its reusable spacecraft. Now, there's still a very long way before ISRO can ready its a reusable spacecraft, but the latest two experiments clearly proved to be a significant milestone in the entire journey. Thank you so much for watching.